It's been pretty epic being here in Queen K. So we decided to leave this morning and head over to Spanish Wells. Biggest swell we've ever been out in. We're climbing up mountains today. This guy doesn't like me, right? We're still only under sail since our engine is still not working. So this is the biggest grocery store we've been into in the Bahamas. We found a sand beer. We got beer! Click! After backpacking, we decided to see the world by sailboat. We sailed from the Great Lakes of Canada and made it to the Bahamas, where the unexpected happened. We're still not able to start the engine. And we're gonna have a feast! We got a dolphin fish! Let's go! <laughs> Just epic. Show me what you got. Little bitty grouper. He's a, pretty sure he's a grouper. Speared him with the three sprung spear, so it was the first time I used that one. And um, hopefully it doesn't have secretari secretaria. Hopefully this one will be uh, delicious and not poisonous. <laughs> so after looking at our little guide to reef fish here and double checking the book that Jay gave me. Thank you very much Jay, you're awesome. Um, we found out that it's actually not the grouper, which I thought maybe it was like a tiger grouper, but it's actually a red hind. Uh, and they're supposedly quite good to eat. So we're gonna get this filleted, or at least cut up and cleaned, and eat it for supper tonight. Also, I've noticed that there's some Spanish hogfish on this reef. None that are really, really big, but I think uh, I'm gonna try to spear those. They're really skittish though. As I said before, the parrotfish aren't really that edible. I mean, they are, but you have you risk the chance of getting um, this um, disease, I guess, or this sec secretaria or something like that. Anyway, they seem to be the easiest fish to spear because they really chill, they just hang out, and they you can get right up next to them and jam a spear in their face. But um, I don't think we're gonna spear them much more. For one, they're really good for the reef, and secondly, they're not so good for us, so why spear them? Snorkeling around Green Cay was spectacular, and we could jump in right from our sailboat. The various depths offered so many different corals, like this staghorn. It was exciting pushing our freediving skills, going deeper, and holding our breath longer. We spent hours diving around and only returned to the boat when we were too cold or got hungry. This is the life. It's a beautiful sunny day like most of the days here in the Bahamas. And we got a coconut and our own semi-private beach except for when the tour groups come to come check out the turtles. 
just happened there? Oh, well, we just caught, I think, what's a little tuna with some leftover, some chunks of meat that we had from our other fish. It looks like a tuna fish because of the tail there, but I'm not 100% sure. We're going to see if we can get the hook out because it is a small fish. I'd rather just throw it back. So from our research, um, we believe he's a big eyed tuna, but he's really tiny for a tuna. So we're going to throw him back and hopefully the, the little hook and stuff won't hurt him too badly or won't have killed him or my hands because they're a bit oily because I'm doing stuff in the engine. But uh, that tail is kind of a tuna tail and the way his fins are, it kind of makes us think that he's a tuna. But anyway, let's go release him before he uh, passes on us. There you go, there you go, yeah, there you go. Hopefully the shark doesn't get him. Well, exploring the beach was quite lovely on Rose Island and we even did a little bit of snorkeling on the way there, saw a little eel, super nice. And then we decided to come back to the sailboat because I was kind of hot. Gotta get out of the sun a little bit. And on the way back, the sheer pin broke again. And it's like, it's almost a mile all the way to the beach, which we barely had covered about half of, half of it with the dinghy. But luckily there's that family on their own dinghy that actually towed us back to the sailboat. Thank you, that was really nice, but less of a paddle. So now I think we're gonna have to change that shear pin again, which we had a nail, but I guess it didn't quite work out. It's been pretty epic being here in Green Cay. We went swimming with the green turtles and that was just, that was exceptional. I've never swam that close to turtles. You could almost touch them. Like they were just so used to humans, seems like. So you could swim right next to them, follow them around. Then we also did some other snorkeling and saw a... I think it was the same bull shark, but it was a good like six footer bull shark that kind of followed us around. That showed up right behind us also when we speared a fish. So that was a little creepy, but nothing bad happened. And it's just been a really, really nice place. Well, after two wonderful nights of sleep at Green Cay, the last one was the worst. It was pretty bad. We had swell at 90 degree angle from the wind swell. So it was just, we couldn't set up a second snubber and be comfortable. The boat was just, felt like a washing machine really. It was, oh, it was terrible. So we decided to leave this morning and head over to Spanish Wells.
It's, uh, I guess, the biggest, biggest swell we've ever been out in. Even though it was only calling for one meter or so swell, it's probably at least two. And big, at least they're big long rollers. What's a little bit annoying though is the fact that there's all these choppy little bumps in between, which you wouldn't really expect because it's not overly windy. Yeah, it's kind of just like chop and then big, huge roller, chop, big, huge roller. At least the rollers are really far apart or they would be very, very steep. It's going! We're climbing up mountains today, so we're doing way more mileage. It's like two to three meters swell, some of it. Ah, this is beautiful. We just covered 36 miles and made it to, well, almost Spanish Wells, but we still decided to stop just a little before at Meek's Patch. It's like a little island which seems to have some pigs, so we might go check that out later. But really the main thing was that this was protected, so we should have a good night of sleep tonight. It's like super calm right now. Although there is a little bit of boat traffic coming to and from that little beach with the pigs. But this is beautiful, it's warm, having some rum and 7-up and loving life. <laughs> we decided to snorkel around the island, but we had been very spoiled in Queen Cape and there wasn't much corals here. Still refreshing. We are currently just outside Spanish Wells, heading over there now. Uh, gonna try to get as close as we can, but the wind is kind of coming from the direction that we'd like to go up the deeper channel. So we might need to tack a couple times and get relatively close and then just use the dinghy for the rest. Uh, we're still only under sail since our engine is still not working. Hopefully we're gonna resolve that here. Um, we're going to go grab some groceries and try to figure out water as well as check out our starter, potentially get the starter looked at, and probably get a new starter battery. Because from my research, uh, lead acid and AGM batteries really do not like being only partially charged. And we've had to do that plenty of times because we're only charging by solar. It'd be different if we were at the, at the dock and being able to charge constantly but it seems like we've lost a lot of capacity in our batteries and I have a feeling that's probably part of the issue we're having with starting our engine. Now there's probably other things wrong with it, but we're gonna start with this since it's the easiest and simplest thing to check. We just had a wonderful night's sleep at Meek, what's called Meek pa Meek's Patch, which was just outside of Smash Wells. It's kind of a nice little spot here because we can hide from the wind almost no matter what direction it comes from, including the swell because the, uh, the night before last was a bit of a brutal time. We were completely protected from the wind, but the swell came in at 90 degrees and just messed our night right up. 
And wow, was that ever some big swell the, the next morning leaving. So I understand why it was so big behind that island. Let's go try to solve this issue. Well, we made it to our anchorage. Only took about 10 tacks to get here because we were dead downwind. And now we're here. So I think that was the most tax, short tax within a narrow spot that we've done to get anywhere. But at least now we're nice and nice, uh, a nice close dinghy ride for all of our provisioning and whatnot. So let's go to shore and have some fun. Alex, fruits and vegetables. <laughs> How excited are you? I'm so excited. We haven't been buying much groceries because Andros Island and Bimini Island barely had anything. So this is the biggest grocery store we've been into in the Bahamas. Bread? Oh, we're pretty lucky. We found a sand beer. There's no beer, no sand beer anywhere, it seems like, because the brewery was in Freeport, which kind of got destroyed by Durian. So, cheers! Who does free Wi Fi? The walls and ceilings of the Buddha's snack shack were covered in quotes. Fun to read while waiting for your food. I haven't had a burger in like months, at least a month, so this is going to be awesome. Well, that was kind of a productive day and we got water! Yay! We ended up paying about 50 cents a gallon which is... Actually that's the first time we end up having to buy water because in Andros we could find free water and in Bimini we had the water from the marina but in general we've noticed that it was like between a dollar or two dollars a gallon which is pretty expensive so 50 cents is pretty good. And then what else did we get? We got beer, Kalik, which is sort of expensive, but only if you compare it to like the States or Quebec, 
It was like two bucks a beer, a little more, which is pretty much on par with what we were paying in Ontario, so not really that big of a deal. And now we got beer. <laughs> Spanish World so far has been pretty exciting. It's long sandy beach. So getting a couple little projects done. Saturday, Sunday, the wind's gonna be quite strong, so we're gonna stick here. And we're drilling some coconut to have some rum and coconut. We picked a really good anchors for this storm. The main problem is the fact that I can actually turn over the engine by hand. We're losing all our compression. So we're just leaving Spanish Wells behind. 